Hi, I'm now quickly going to cover the topic of how to um, add on a transponder onto the list if you want to add it on a specific channel. So you can have a situation where there's a specific channel missing off of um, your list that you want to add on, but you find out that that transponder is not listed on your particular uh, box. So what we do here is we simply come along, we hit the menu button, and we'll come down as far as the installation menu. So this is option two, uh, and uh, we'll come over here to uh, the TP list. Okay, so we can see anyway, if there was a particular transponder here that we wanted to do a rescan for, we could actually select it at that point and just hit the blue button here to search it, okay? Well, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take an example here where um, we'd like to just add on a transponder. So just say we, we're going to pick a transponder. I'm not sure if it's in the list or not here, but we'll come along and we'll just hit the green button here and we'll e enter the frequency rate of 10906. Uh, the symbol rate there is going to be uh, 22,000 uh, and uh, the polarization on it we want it to be vertical. So we save it here now uh, and it tells us anyway the transponder already exists. Select a yes to uh, jump to the tree and um, okay so we will actually just jump to it right. So it's identified this is the one here and we can come along here and if we press the blue button here now uh, it's asking it's free to wear only. We'll say yes, that's the search we want to do. Uh, come down along and just go okay. But sometimes as the fault, I just actually add the transponder on like that because if you have 80 or 100 transponders there, uh, it can actually just be quicker to just jump straight into the one that you want. Um, but sometimes new transponders do come online, so it isn't necessary you know how to do it exactly. So um, end search, yes. And we can see in the background, these are channels we got, and often people would use that frequency. Uh, that frequency there is a little bit famous because it's for UTV, and often people who would be using Skybox for freeware would tune in UTV directly into the other channels uh, section using that frequency. So, um, and then we just press OK, and then we just exit all the way out and uh, the extra channels then will have been added on, whatever. Uh, so that's it, uh, it's an overview of uh, how to um, manually tune in a satellite channel.